As someone who's worked in harm reduction for over a decade, I applaud Vosh and all the non-drug using normies who support abolishing prohibition entirely and a free meal and offer got me off of heroin. Okay, so I ask, why did you start using to begin with? And asshole here, I think that's irrelevant. No, you get six thumbs up and this bothers me because, not because it's against me, but because it tells me that this is why nothing gets fucking done in this world. Now, I value psychology because it's reasons. It gets to the reasons of why. Now, what I mean is, would this guy have ever started using heroin if he didn't bother, if he had no reason to do it to begin with? Uh, was he curious? Was he, uh, escapism? What? And if, if he just, if he only got started because it was offered to him and he got addicted, that's different. That's not psychological. And I'm not saying that's, yes, that is the reason for a lot of people, but there are others who started for psychological reasons. Now, if this guy only started because it was offered to him, then fair enough. There, there's, he's, there's no risk factor in him relapsing and going back on it. So that's, that would cancel him out. But somebody who does have a psychological reason for starting drug use, in be which becomes addiction, that reason needs to be identified before they even try to get off of it. Otherwise, they're just going to relapse. Right? So I asked Cap to explain. And I don't know if he has yet, but... Many reasons why people start using, getting addicted to illegal painkillers and even having to go to the black market. Okay, well that's different then. But, um, okay. Now, should those painkillers be on the market if they're addictive? Why are they on the market if they're addictive? Or, why isn't the doctor, what happens there? Is there a way around that? Are, are such painkillers necessary? Are they needed? Are there... I don't know. There are questions even to that. Coping with difficult life situations. Peer pressure. Okay, why, do, why does peer pressure happen? Don't people know that uh, these drugs are either addictive or can result in um, overdose, and which causes death themselves, which would cause life, difficult life situations for other people? But for some reason, they still do it. Especially with fentanyl going on. Hmm? Coping with... I mean, how is that a valid excuse? Not everybody's going to be able to, but you got to be strong in this fucking world. You know? You're, you need uh, moral support from people. Going on drugs is only going to intensify, add more problems or cause more problems, right? That's why I ask. What, why did you start using to begin with? These reasons are important, and you get eight for this. Now, you're only answering my question, I get that, but... Now, are you with Cap here, who says that he thinks that's irrelevant? Because if so, this eight thumbs up is offensive for that reason. Not because it's against me. No, I'm not saying you are against me, I'm asking if you are with Cap. Okay, so, for the hell of it, because they don't know the possible... Okay, well, this is the problem right here. Now, why is it that people don't look into these things? Now, granted, the internet was only around for how long? It's been, a, it's only, a, it's still young. It's only, what, 20 years old now? So before then, they didn't really have... But the problem is, it's not like people can actually talk to other people. Oh, have you tried heroin? Have you tried cocaine? Or whatever drug is out there? No, that's not going to happen, right? So people know that they're wrong. But they do it anyway. Now, they may not know the consequences. Well, don't do anything unless you know what you're doing. Does that philosophy get pushed around society? No. I mean, even doesn't even matter anyway, because even with the internet and even with the potential 
harm of um, fentanyl and the knowledge that addiction is common along with overdose, people still fucking do drugs, don't they? Now why is that? And again, where does peer pressure come from? I mean, why? Shouldn't we be getting to the bottom of these problems instead of making excuses for addicts and people who have overdosed on this shit? The rate of relapse suggests a large portion of the people you... Yeah, okay, that's not for me. Okay, so... Assuming this is a good faith, I'll join... And join. What do you mean, good faith? What do you mean by that, Astrid Bunny? I started using because of trauma-related issues. Okay, how is that a valid excuse to do that? Do you are you not aware of the pr uh, problems and dangers of drug or yeah drug use alone? Are you not aware of the potential, the high potential of becoming addicted and overdosing? Do you not care about your family and the problems you could cause them as a result of addiction? How is this a valid fucking reason to start doing drugs, asshole? Fentanyl kept me calm and stopped the trim Okay, well, is fentanyl safe? Hmm? Is it? I also have severe depression and I still haven't found any medication. Maybe, you, maybe medication isn't the answer for you then. Have you tried self-analyzing to figure out what's causing your depression? Hmm? Probably not, right? Now, I can't entirely blame you for that because being an experienced in depression myself, doctors and especially, well, doctors are almost, or well, they depend, they rely on the drugs because we, people don't know a lot about depression. They don't bother looking into it. So, I mean, there isn't much help available for severe depression. I get that. But I will say that, um, I've tried uploading a video, uh, maybe an hour long, but nobody paid attention. So, as far as I'm concerned, other depression sufferers, they only want to bitch and complain about it and have people feel sorry for them. They don't actually want help. Some of them do, but not well, most of them don't. And what did what did you eat? What did you do? You turned to fucking drugs. Yeah, you didn't care about the consequences. Why not? In fact, I wanted to get, well, well, you need to know what causes severe depression. I really just wanted to stop feeling the way I do. Well, okay, now that I'm saying it to you, are you going to go self, uh, go, uh, maybe take some, sit, sit in a room or something and just think about what's causing, or self-analyze? Are you going to do that now that I've mentioned it to you? Probably not, right? In fact, I, yeah, I really just wanted to stuff it. Okay, I ended up overdosing at 20. See? Nobody to blame but your fucking self, Astrid Bunny. Assuming the good f this is a good faith, I'll join the dis- Yeah. You want to insult me? You fucking asshole. Everything went black before I hit the floor. I came around. I, yeah, you're just feeling sorry for yourself. Anything else here? Morphine. In response to what? What are you talking about, Mr. Badman? Okay. That's irrelevant. How is it irrelevant? Though there are many different common reasons, especially depending on the drug for opioids, opiates, a lot of people are in pain. Okay, that may be different, but is that does that does that does that reason apply to everybody? Hmm. Obviously not, right? Some are recommended to try. It, yeah. Well, the thing is, I only asked, um, would I ask him again? Fucking shit, no scroll on this thing, I have to use my mouse roller wheel. 
why did it start using to begin with? So I'm asking him why he started using it, and you're attacking me with your bullshit. Where are you again? Yeah, limit break. Yeah, you guys are all fucking assholes. No wonder nothing ever gets fucking done in this world. No problems ever get solved. And how many thumbs did you get for this shit? Oh, none, surprisingly. But it's still... Well, how long ago was this? Fuck it. We're about within the last hour. So nobody's really seen it yet. Yeah, go fuck yourselves, people. Have fun with your precious voting. If you're Democrats. <laughs>